What's up guys, it's Baby Hay and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am filming what I eat in a day and this video has been highly requested. I filmed one of these before in the summer, but I want to start filming them more and so I'm going to be just walking you through everything that I eat today. And this morning I got up around 7 and I just made my lemon water and coffee and filled up my water bottle and one of my like mottos is hydrate before you caffeinate so I always try to have water before I drink any coffee just because you're, you've you been sleeping for a really long time, your body's dehydrated, you need water so I have my lemon water and then I make my coffee and and I recently got the Nespresso Aracino and I am obsessed with it. It's a milk frother if you guys don't know and I think that it ch changes the game for making coffee in the morning. I'll show it to you. So you can, I'm, I'm not, I don't mean you can only make coffee in the morning. I just mean like it really does help for making coffee and having froth milk. So you can do hot or cold foam with this. And I'll link it down below in case you guys are wanting to get it, but I just love this. I was really struggling with getting frothed milk, and this has helped a lot. So I just made my coffee with oat milk, and I could have added, you know, like cinnamon or vanilla extract or like something to the foam, but I just went with the basic route, but I could have made it a little bit fancier if I wanted to. And I am one of those people who drinks coffee and then drinks it like for the whole morning. So like I literally just have to keep reheating this in the microwave. There are some mornings that I have like two cups of coffee, but a lot of the times I just like drag out drinking my coffee. But it's now 10, a little after 10, and so I'm going to be making my first meal and I have this a lot of mornings it's one of my favorite things to make and it is a fruit bowl so in 2020 i was making the just regular basic fruit bowl but in 2021 i've been making the fruit bowl 2.0 and it's super good so i'm going to show you how i make that so this is the yogurt that i use i'll talk about that in one second And I got my fruits. So one of my favorite yogurts, if you are new here, is the Forager Cashew Milk Yogurt. It's the unsweetened plain one. And it looks like this. They have some flavored ones, but I really do like the unsweetened plain. And there is three grams of protein per serving. They also make this yogurt in like a protein version, but I personally don't really like it. I am gluten and dairy free if you guys don't know. I'm not vegan or anything else. I just eat gluten and dairy free. The reason is because I am intolerant to gluten and I'm lactose intolerant. I've been to the doctor, I've been tested, so I eat everything gluten and dairy free. So I'm gonna try my best when I do these videos to share with you the exact ingredients or brand so that if you guys are wanting to eat gluten or dairy free, um, you guys get some good ideas on items that I like. So for the yogurt, Kite Hill and Forager are my go-tos. I buy this yogurt at Whole Foods. I've seen it at Target as well and gotten it there. But Whole Foods is usually where I get it. So I just start with the base of the yogurt and then I add fruit on top. So my personal favorites are strawberries and blueberries. Sometimes I'll do like bananas or raspberries or blackberries. Um, and then I have these berry box colanders. I always cut up my fruit wash it and then put it in these and store them in the fridge they don't like preserve the fruit or anything but i just think they're really aesthetic and more convenient and then i just top the fruit bowl with some toppings so before i was just doing coconut flakes and cacao nibs but now i have also added hemp seeds goji berries and chia seeds Thank you. 
So I added all the toppings, the coconut flakes, cacao nibs, chia seeds, hemp seeds, goji berries, and now I am just drizzling it with a little bit of honey. I don't add honey to it every day, but it does give it a little bit of extra sweetness. I brought the fruit bowl over to my couch so you guys could see it in better lighting, but it looks amazing. I feel like I'm becoming a pro at this. Time to eat my fruit bowl and it literally looks so good. I look forward to eating this like every day. <laughs> Yep. This just makes me so happy. And there are so many good health benefits to this root bowl. There is protein, fiber, omega-3s, antioxidants, vitamins. Like there's just so many good things packed into this little fruit bowl. So I highly recommend getting it and then, I mean, making it and then doing all the toppings. It's so good, you guys. I was also going to say, so I haven't filmed a what I eat in a day in a really long time. And I was thinking, would you guys, this is just a suggestion, would you guys want like healthy days with Bebe Hey or like healthy day with Bebe? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm trying to think of something clever, but like once every other week i do a day where i like show you what i eat in a day so the meals how i make them and then i also show you a workout because i'm going to be doing a workout a little bit later so i'll bring you along for that a lot of you say that you really like my um cooking or workouts or you want to see more of that so if i combined it and did like the healthy day with me I don't know I'm not always healthy so don't take that the wrong way but if there's a day where I'm like trying to be healthy or cook food or doing a good workout I could just bring you along for it so let me know what you what y'all are thinking about that so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll check in with you all later today it is now 1 11 and i am hungry for lunch so i'm gonna make something before i go do a workout and i've been really into making a crispy chickpea caesar salad so the ingredients for the caesar salad that i'm gonna be using are romaine cucumber garbanzo beans i'm gonna make the crispy chickpeas and then i'm gonna be using hemp seeds so the dressing that I've been loving is this um, Caesar dressing by Follow Your Heart. It is a vegan Caesar salad dressing. Tastes just like Caesar salad, but it is vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, organic, and it is bomb. And then I'm also going to be using the same brand, Follow Your Heart, but it is their Parmesan dairy-free cheese. And this also tastes very similar to Parmesan. And then I'm going to be putting hemp seeds in it. I think I said everything. I can't remember. But I'm going to start making the crispy chickpeas first. So I'll walk you through all the steps for that. So I just start with... Oh, whoops. <laughs> putting them into a strainer. And then rinsing them. Then I take paper towels and I just pat them dry really well. Also, I'm literally not a chef. And so if I'm like doing these things that are just like maybe not exactly right, bear with me because like I am just like learning as I go. So then I take a skillet and I'm going to heat up olive oil. You could totally measure the olive oil, but I just eyeball it. Okay. 
And then I just put the lid on for a second because I know that the oil is going to start splattering. So I kind of just want to give it a second to settle. So you can season it however you want. I like to use cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, and then salt and pepper. So in a bowl of cut up romaine and cucumber, I'm just going to add some hemp seeds. And I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna drizzle some of the dressing. Super quick and easy Caesar salad, minimal ingredients, and you can have this as like a big salad for lunch or it'd be also a good little side salad to a dinner. I love the salad so much. The chickpeas are what's up. It makes it feel like there's croutons on the salad but it gives it good protein and you can make the chickpeas so many different ways you can roast them in the oven which is even better but if you want to do it fast like me then you can just put it on a skillet and then you can container them so that now if I wanted to make the salad tomorrow or the next day I would already have the chickpeas done so that makes making the salad way quicker like it would take a couple minutes so Definitely recommend making the crispy chickpeas. You can also buy these too. You don't have to make them yourself, but it's such a good salad. And I've also put in this entire mixture into a wrap and then had a crispy chickpea Caesar wrap. And that is also bomb. What the heck? I keep getting so many messages. But I saw someone post these glasses and I really want to get them they are let me try to find it and I find them so on Crate and Barrel's website whoa sorry to the vlog I know this is a what I eat in a day but I still want to show you this it kind of counts because it would like be part of when I'm eating something I just have to show you. So they have on Crate and Barrel's website, they are called these 16 ounce beer can glasses and they look like this, but you can put more than just beer in them. I don't drink beer, but I wanna use these for making iced coffees and like green juices would be really cute in them. And look at the price, you guys. $3.95 each, like I, I think I need four. So I'm gonna do four. And then I also really wanna get these. They are the Moderno Clear Coffee Mug. So these would be perfect for hot coffee and then the other ones would be good for iced coffee. And again, only $3.50 each. So I'm gonna get four of these. Oops. check out now so i'm about to go work out this is where i set up for my try on haul with princess polly so i was just going to share with you my workout set and this is just from lululemon lululemon sports bra lululemon leggings and then these are the adidas swift run sneakers but we're gonna go down there and do a little workout so the workout that i'm going to do today is one of whitney
Whitney Simmons dumbbell booty workouts and there are five exercises and then you do three sets of each um, but I'm just going to show you one set of each and then just know that I repeated it <laughs> otherwise this video would be way too long also new airpod pros I got them for Christmas Shout out to my dad. And they are so nice because they're noise canceling. I love them for working out. Post-workout, I freshened up and it is now 3.42. It's time for a snack. I am feeling... Hmm. Let me see what I have. I think I'm going to go for peanut butter toast. This is obviously super simple, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw what brands I'm using. So I'm using the gluten-free brown rice bread from Whole Foods. It's the Food for Life brand. Then I'm also using the Justin's Classic Peanut Butter. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of organic ground cinnamon on top. Trader Joe's does have some really good bagels though. And I've been wanting to try their everything bagel. Because I haven't tried that yet. So I'll probably go to Trader Joe's next time and try out some different breads from them instead of like the Food for Life one. Because I want to branch out a little bit. This one is really good. But I'm going to try something new next time. <laughs> scared me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another thing I've also been loving are these green juices. They are by the Evolution brand, but they have so many good 
greens in them. There's celery, cucumber, spinach, romaine, kale, onion. Onion? Oh my god, I cannot believe I just said onion. I meant to say lemon and parsley. Alright, quick snack is peanut butter toast with cinnamon and then some green juice. Green juice is really good. I've been super into green juice lately. And I feel like you could just can't go wrong with peanut butter toast. Bread and peanut butter. What a combo. So I'm checking in now. It is 6.49 and I'm also doing really good on my water intake. I'm almost at 7 p.m. and I'm trying to get 64 ounces of water in a day. So that is going well. But tonight for dinner, I'm just gonna make a spaghetti with meatballs and I'll show you the meatballs that I really like. So these are the Beyond meatballs. They are plant-based and they are the Italian flavored ones. But usually when I've cooked these before, I just sauteed them in a skillet. But I think tonight I'm gonna try baking them in the oven. It says to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. And then cook them on an aluminum foil baking sheet for 12 to 13 minutes and then you turn them over halfway through so i'm just going to start with making these meatballs there's 19 grams of plant protein per serving which is a lot and i like these meatballs because it's hard to find meatballs that are gluten-free So I got a pot of water boiling, and then some of the other ingredients I'm gonna be using is this tomato basil pasta sauce from Whole Foods. And then I'm also gonna be using these noodles. They are the Bonza chickpea noodles, the spaghetti ones. And then I have some green beans and some parsley. So I'm just gonna add in the Bonza chickpea pasta. Adding the green beans. So I added a splash of oat milk just to make this a little bit creamier. Now that the sauce is sizzling, I'm gonna add the pasta, and then the meatballs are also done. I just turned the oven off, but left them in there so that they would stay warm, but I like cooking them in the oven. I think that's a good idea. I 
mixed in some of the Follow Your Heart Parmesan cheese. So that could get all melted inside of it. So here is my spaghetti with meatballs and then I just garnished it with parsley and put a little bit more Parmesan cheese on top. And then on the side I just have some green beans that are seasoned with salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, that's going to be such a big bite. <sighs> cannot go wrong with spaghetti I love spaghetti so much and the meatballs are so good with it also I love the chickpea noodles I love that there's a lot of protein in them and the consistency of them everything about the noodles are really good they taste like regular noodles to me so I was gonna say this I don't count my calories or my macros it's not that I have anything against doing that it's just that that's not really what works for me and I just eat intuitively so I just eat when I'm hungry and don't eat when I'm not hungry killed that also ate all the green beans <laughs> and I'm doing really good on my water like look how far down that is that makes me proud <laughs> but now I'm gonna clean the kitchen bet you all were waiting for this moment night isn't over because I haven't had my kombucha <laughs> sometimes I have it with dinner other nights I just have it after dinner but We'll go with this one tonight actually so i love drinking kombucha out of a wine glass it just makes me feel like bougie i have nothing against drinking wine but personally i just don't really like the taste of alcohol so it's not that i like don't drink alcohol because i'm against it i just don't really like the taste of it that much so I would prefer to have kombucha and there are so many good benefits to having kombucha. I think that it's really helped me with my digestion. So I usually have like half a glass or I mean like half a bottle of kombucha pretty much every night. <laughs> and you all know the guava goddess one is my favorite by the GT's Synergy brand. It's just too good. And I know that it has kind of an acquired taste. Sometimes people message me and they're like, that is not good. And then other times people are like, I love it. But it does take some time getting used to if you've never had kombucha before. So just give it a chance. I just wanted to end this night off with something that I've been thinking about. And I just wanted to say that like, if you're struggling with being healthy, I think that something that's important to think about is you should view being healthy as a place of being kind to your body rather than being healthy as something that is restrictive or frustrating because you should eat foods that you enjoy in a way that makes you feel fulfilled. And for me personally, um, healthy food just really does make me feel good. I think it has a lot of benefits to my life. Whole foods, you know, really, oh, like really give you energy. They boost your mood and just like your overall well-being. And so I eat healthy foods because I enjoy that. I like the way that it makes me feel. I feel like I'm a better person. And so if you're struggling with eating healthy, then try to just think about it as being kind to your body. Like you want to be kind to others, um, but you also want to be kind to yourself. So I think that 
That's definitely something that I do. And I'm not saying I'm healthy all the time. Like there are times when I eat cookies or chocolate or popcorn and I enjoy those moments. Like those are times when I feel fulfilled by those things and I don't regret them at all. Like I don't eat a cookie and think, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have eaten that. Like I wanted it, I enjoyed it, and then I move on from it. Like I don't try to overthink it too much. And I'm not saying I've always been like that. I've really tried to give myself time and I've really tried to put a lot of effort into changing my mindset because it is hard to do. But I just wanna remind you all to you know, be kind to your body, um, be kind to others, but show yourself some love, give yourself some grace, and cheers to that. My camera is about to die, so I'm just gonna finish drinking my kombucha. That is everything that I'm gonna be having today. But I hope you all enjoyed watching this What I Eat in a Day. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.